Welcome to Qasim Industries Limited metal printing and can making unit. Join us as we go behind the scenes at the most sophisticated can making and filling project in Bangladesh. The process starts with the high quality metal sheets that we import from abroad. Using a forklift, the metal sheets are placed into the feeding section of our printing machine. And not just any printing machine. Qasim Industries Limited is home to the finest metal printing machine in Bangladesh. This German machine is renowned for its vibrant printing quality and outstanding efficiency. The designs for all the sheets we print are stored on the computer that is connected to our machine. The computer software tells the printing machine what sheet is being printed and the colors are applied accordingly. The machine is extremely long because both the printing and drying of the sheets happen inside this unit. Once the sheets are printed, they enter the oven portion of the line where they are dried before being ready for the rest of the production process. Once the sheets leave the printing machine, they are transported to a pressurized can-making line at Qasim Industries Limited. Here, the printed sheets are first being cut into the correct sizes depending on what product we are producing. The cut sheets are now ready to be made into cans. In this first step, the sheets are being formed into a round shape and then welded together. Once welded, the sheet is covered entirely, both inside and out, with a special lacquering. After the lacquer is applied, the cans enter a 30-foot oven, which runs at up to 400 degrees so that the lacquering can be dried. Once the dried cans have emerged from the oven, they go to the next station, where the cans are flanged, necked, and seamed. These three crucial steps are when the cans truly start to take the shape of the ones you see in stores. Flanging, necking, and seaming are crucial steps that must be taken before the top and bottom of the can is attached. To attach the tops and bottoms, the cans enter this special compartment on the production line. The top and bottom are already pre-made in-house and placed in a feeder. Once the can enter this compartment, the top and bottom parts are automatically fed into the machine and attached using a high-speed spinning mechanism. When the cans are fixed with both a top and bottom, they're ready for the final stage of the can making process. check for air tightness. Here, all cans are examined using high-tech sensors, and any cans that may be susceptible to leaks are automatically discarded by the machine. Now that we have made our pressurized cans, it's time to see how they are filled with your favorite fragrances and products. Before the cans can be filled, the solution that they will be filled with must be prepared. For wave deodorants and air fresheners, Qasim Industries uses only top quality ingredients and fragrances imported from Switzerland to ensure we are providing our customers with the best product on the market. The formulas are carefully mixed and then stored in large steel drums from where the solution can be automatically pumped into the filling line. 
When the cans enter the filling line, the first step is to fill them with one of Wave's signature fragrance blends, which we just saw being mixed. This is the liquid portion of the can filling section. Now the cans move to the next section. where a valve is placed on each can so that it can be filled with gas and later sprayed. The next step is to add a gas filling to the liquid solution that is already inside so that now the product can be used as a spray. As you can see, the gas filling section is separated from the rest of the production floor due to the sensitive nature of the gas filling process. Now that the cans are filled with both liquid and gas, they are weighed to make sure they have been filled to the correct levels. Any cans that are above or below our accepted margin of error are automatically discarded from the production line. After weighing, the cans are taken to one final leak test. This is called a water bath test. The cans are fully submerged in warm water. If bubbles appear above any of the cans, we know that it is not completely airtight and must be removed for further testing. Finally, the cans are ready for the finishing touches. This includes putting a spray nozzle on each can and then fixing a pilfer cap to ensure maximum freshness and quality for all of our products. Once these touches are applied, the can is fitted with a cap and then placed into boxes that are ready to be delivered to stores nationwide to our waiting customers. Thank you so much for joining us today on our tour of this factory. We hope you enjoyed seeing our production process and look forward to your continued patronage and support.